Today's video, I'm going to show you how to block the dollar defense, probably the most popular defense in Madden 24. And we are in the Packers playbook. Just wanted to have uh, trips and bunch strong here uh, just to show you a couple different pass protection systems. But basically, this is designed, this video is designed just to help with uh, kind of blocking the meta blitzes. So we're going to be going over dollar and really the two main blitzes in this game right now. There's really technically three, but they're kind of like the, the way they work is basically the same. So first, I just want to start and cover the A-gap, and then we'll cover DB Fire as well. If you guys want to get my full ebooks, offensive, defensive ebooks, both of those are going to be in my Patreon. That's basically where it's basically my library for Madden content, where literally I discuss everything that I know about Madden. Offensive, defensive ebooks, if you want to take your game to the next level, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks. So, Dollar Blitz. We're going to set this up kind of the standard way right here. Uh, this is kind of like the standard best, in my opinion, the best way to run it. So that's four-man A-gap blitz. All you're going to do is you are just going to double-team the defensive tackle. And what you're going to see is I can send five people out on a route, and this is going to block the blitz pretty much every single time, as long as they are only sending four people. Okay, as long as they're only sending four people and they back off the slot corner, this is pretty much the standard. If they want to do the contain method, right, we'll show you that. But basically just ID... The DT, I like to ID the slot corner. I do think that that is helpful if they do happen to send five, which we'll cover in a minute. And then we're just going to kind of step to the right just slightly, and then we can make, and then we can throw the ball, okay? So now let's talk about, well, what if they decide to send the slot corner? So we'll set the, the blitz up. It's pretty much, in my opinion, the best five-man uh, blitz in the game. So what you're going to do, double team, ID slot corner, and we're going to send five out. What you're going to see here is oftentimes the slot corner, the, the, the big key to this is while the slot corner does come in, which I do want to say like he does come in, it's because we're double teaming the, the nose tackle. So if they start to send five, as you can see, like you're going to get pressure. But I do have the ability to quick throw my drag, right? This isn't the end of the world if a slot corner comes free. So I did want to say that. Now, what are, what's another method to block this five-man? So the only other thing that I wanted to say that you can do to try to block the five-man, and this is, to me, um, this is just another method of blocking the A-gap. We're going to slide protect to the right, and then we're going to ID the slot corner on the left. So you see here, sometimes this will actually pick up both versions, but as you see, the A-gap does come in. So if they are sending five, you're probably going to have to block somebody. Uh, this is just kind of my uh, experience. You are probably going to have to block somebody, or you can double team this D end and try to roll out, which is also another another thing you can do. Last pass protection method would be to slide right and ID the slot corner on the right. And you see here it does pick up the four man, but let me let me send five. I actually, actually forgot to send the slot corner. And again, this is also like they're backing this slot corner on the right off, which makes the blitz. Uh, significantly more effective so we'll slide we'll id that slot corner and as you see a gap if i slap step to the right i kind of can have a chance to pick it up but all in all pretty decent okay so how do you pick up the five man dollar blitz my opinion the best way to pick up the five man version of this blitz is to block your running back slide right and id the slot corner on the left this will help with db fire we'll talk about that in a minute but as you see here the four man is going to get picked up and then also the five man will get picked up and I'll show that as well. So if they do send the five man, which is to send that slot corner, what you'll see here is I slide right and I ID the slot corner. And I'm just going to step to the right slightly. And you see a lot of times this will pick it up for some reason. It didn't pick that up right there. If it, if you're getting that, that inconsistency in game, a little bit of a hot fix, that you can do for the five man is double team this guy and ID here. And this should pretty much guarantee to pick it up. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. But generally the only, the reason I don't like to double team, if I don't have to, the reason I don't like to double team, if I don't have to is because of this DB fire blitz, which is what people are starting to kind of do. And I think this is the best like blitzing scheme uh, because you can kind of play chess with your blitzes. But anyways, 
So if they, if I if I double team this guy, even if I block my running back, oftentimes the blitz will come off that left side super fast, as you see. So to block DB fire, what you want to do, in my opinion, is you want to slide right, and then you want to ID left. So the slide right will take care of the guy on that, and then you get that, and then as you see, if they send a true DB fire, you're going to have a big play over the top of the defense. So back to the five-man uh, free safety blitz. That's why for this blitz, I really would rather almost live in the dice roll unless they're doing this all game because I think over time, this right here, this pass pro, does block this blitz more times than not, okay? It does block the blitz more times than not. So just keep that in mind. Um, if they are truly running, you know, this five man, I'll show you one other thing you can do and it will, it, it can work for DB fire and I'll cover that in a minute. The other thing you could do is slide right and ID right. If you don't want to double team anybody and you see, you just need that running back and, and, and really this would be much easier to block. This is part of what makes the defense good. But if you really want to make the defense kind of like in, I think in a tougher spot, Flip your bunch. So, like, I would want to run this with, you know, I'd want to be on the other hash mark, uh, which is fine. But I want to show you this five-man blitz. So, let's say, let's say, you know, the running back was on the left side of the screen. If you slide to the right and you ID the slot corner, now, as you see, this blocks it really well, okay? So, a lot of this is also another factor is where the running back's actually at is, is all I was trying to say there. But let's go over DB fire real quick. So again, let's say they're you know running DB fire on you. You slide right and you ID right. You'll see here that corner on the left side is more likely to come in. So if you're if it, and and one little tell that they might be in DB fire though. The other thing that's important if they back this slot corner off. So like let's say they back the slot corner off on the right and they are in DB fire. All you have to do here. So again, if we're setting this up for the A gap, you just need to step to the right. As you see, this kind of picks it up if they back that slot corner up. If they leave the slot corner pressed, then that means that, it, that number one, the A gap is going to be worse. And number two, it's more than likely DB fire. So if that's what they do, then you can just go ahead and set up your DB fire pass protection and kind of roll the dice with the A gap. And as you see, we're going to have plenty of time and we're able to make a big play over the top of the defense. One last blitz I want to cover in terms of uh, pass protection is this new version of, of the blitz, which is this. It's really the same. Uh, just slide to the right, block the running back, and then as you'll see here, if I ID that safety, you see that pretty much ends that conversation. That blitz is nowhere near as good as the free safety zone blitz with the backed off slot corner or the DB fire 2 with the press. The best version of the defense really is this right here at a DB fire 2. And if you do get this out of DB Fire 2, it's really the same basic uh, basic pass pro. It's just we're going to ID the corner. And you see, we're able to step up. And against that specific defense, you should be able to have all day because you should be able to step up pretty easily. So those are the how I block the meta blitzes right now in Madden 24. Thanks for watching the video. Hope it was helpful. If you want to get my full offensive and defensive ebooks on the on all of the subjects Madden related, join the Patreon. Links in the description. I guarantee you. It'll make you a better Madden player.